Hi and welcome to another episode of Barry Golf. Today we are on the beautiful Villa Bad Padierna, Michael Campbell Golf Academy. And uh, today it's a practice session. Um, got some quite interesting news. I, I've been playing with my P7MC, my Taylor Maze. I don't know if you remember seeing them. You probably didn't, but I've been using them. The same ones that Morikawa, Justin Rose uses. Went back to the UK um, around four or five days ago for a few days. Played a couple of rounds of golf with my old forged Apex Pro 19s and I loved them so much. I had two great rounds. Um, so I ended up buying another set. These ones are the dark finish, uh, smoke finish I think they call it, with the Elevate um, X-Flex Tour shafts. And I'm really excited about getting these in the bag. So uh, yeah, practice session today. We'll go over a few bits that I'm working on personally and we'll see how I get on with these new clubs, but I'm pretty excited to hit them. Firstly, a big shout out to my coach, Craig Norman's Norman Soul. Craig, thank you so much. I'm, I know you watch the videos and uh, a lot of my really good swing changes are down to him. So uh, if you're looking for a pro, a teaching pro somewhere in the southern part of England, he's, he's at the Finchley Golf Club these days. Um, definitely check him out. So what I've been, my, my main swing issue has been since pretty much the day I started playing golf is that um, getting it far too much on the inside on the way back and then I'm getting it a little bit stuck and sometimes when I get a bit too quick it gets there nice big carve nice big block so what we've been working on with Craig and I've been working pretty hard at it and it's really shown in my recent rounds of golf trying to take the, the club back way on the outside for me it feels on the outside it's not way back on the outside club face a little closed looking down at the ball instead of opening up see that in the shot so keeping it like that instead of opening up like this and then making it feel like I'm just literally throwing my arms from the top and coming over it obviously I don't that's not what I do but it's like an exaggerated move to help with this horrible inside move I've been doing for years so take it back on the outside and really fire those shoulders through so I get to finish really get through the ball so it feels like I'm coming over and I'm looking for divots that finish left as opposed to divots that either straight or going right, which meant I was coming from the inside, which I don't want. So I want that over the top feel. Shots going from out to in, which I know a lot of slicers are gonna be going, well, that's what makes you slice. Well, it doesn't, for me it doesn't anyway. And uh, that's what I'll be working on today. So let's hit a few seven irons in the new clubs. Get that feel. Don't know if you've seen Alex Norin. He does that, that drill and he's like, he suffers with exactly the same thing. If you ever watch him on tour, he does get that feeling as well and Justin Rose has been doing it also um, and actually Jordan Speed getting that compression over the top feel never used these elevate shafts before but um they, they are really nice i've got the um 
dynamic golds in my ones back in the uh, UK, but these are, and that, that S Flex, so these are the X Flex, and they're really good. I've got these off, uh, off of eBay. Um, see, I can't spec them out, but actually, I don't know if you can see, but they, they come with these uh, really nice Align Golf Pride grips. And they've got some extra layers, they're quite thick, probably three, three layers, um, which is great. Also, what I've noticed as well is because there's a little bit of offset as, as opposed to the P7 MCs, um, I've got to be careful not to, I'm just closing the face just to maybe a degree. I've just got to trust the alignment on the, uh, on the grips. But um, besides that, it's going really well. I really like these. And the shafts perform great as well. I'm going to uh, get a few four irons and see how we get on with these. It's great here as well because um, for seven euros, you can stay here all day and hit as many balls as you like, which is great. It's unlimited golf balls for seven euros. Yeah, if you like practicing on grass, it's definitely, uh, definitely a good place. feeling I have on the course I'm trying to keep this swing ball and keep it very simple on the golf course it's really trying to compress the ball into the ground which obviously is very difficult to do if you're coming from the inside so I'm really trying to compress that ball down so I get a obviously that over the top feeling Thank you once again for joining me on Barry Golf and what a beautiful place to hit balls. Amazing. If you ever get a chance, Philip Hadiana, the Michael Campbell uh, golf range, he's got chipping green, putting, and uh, as many balls as you can hit for seven years. So it's really worth checking out. Um, so yeah, lots, lots, lots got done today. It, probably 200 golf balls. I'll put a selection in there for you to have a look at, but hopefully you can see what I'm actually trying to work on. And when I get onto the course, you can uh, keep an eye out for it, and I will too. So uh, yeah, thanks once again. And don't forget to, if you're not subscribed, press subscribe, press the like button and uh, keep swinging.